Hi, it's Barbara and welcome back to Wiki Design. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create two different headers for your website using Elementor Pro. So this is a page that I'm working on currently and overall I like how this looks in terms of the header. I think that it's easy to read, nice and clean and simple. But when I go to the home page, so if I click the logo and go home, this is my layout for the home page. And I don't really like how this is looking because I think that with the image in the background, the logo and the text over here for the tabs gets lost. So what I want to do is create a specific header just for the home page. Now this is really easy to do in Elementor Pro and I'm going to show you how right now. So I've opened up my header in Elementor Pro. Now by default, if we go to our display conditions down at the bottom, you'll see that it is included on the entire site. So that means every page on the site will use this header. What we need to do is create a new header that's specific for the home page. Before I do that, I'm actually going to copy this entire section because I want to make the header pretty much the same except change the color of the logo and the tabs to be white because I think that will stand out better on that home page. So I copied that and I'm going to exit out of here and go back to my templates. Then I'm going to add a new template, make it a header, and then I'm just going to call this home page header and create a new template. We'll close this out. And then from here, I'm just going to paste in what I just copied. This will make it really easy for me to keep the settings, but just change the colors. So I'm going to go over here and change this image to the white logo. And then over on this side, I just need to change this text to be white. Now, obviously, since it's on a white background, it's hard to see. So what you could do if you want to make sure that everything looks okay is to just temporarily put up a different background color so you can see how everything looks. That's what I like to do in this case because you need to be able to see what you're doing. So I'm just going to roll over these links, make sure that everything remains the same. It looks good. We'll need to also adjust things on mobile. So we'll need to adjust this toggle button so that this color is also white. And then if we expand that, I think that is okay to have the white. That will look fine. And then on mobile, just make sure that everything looks good. So I think we're good to go. I'm going to go ahead and just remove this background. And then when we hit publish under add condition, instead of it being entire site, we're just going to select the home page. And Elementor will actually warn you if you have it wrong. So it's saying, okay, we already have a header for the entire site, so we need to fix some things. So I like that they do that. So instead of entire site, you'll click singular. And then under singular, we can do front page because it is the home page that we want this on. And then we'll hit save and close. Now let's go back to our home page. So now I'm on the home page and you can see that we have our white logo and then the tabs are white. The active state is this darker color. So let's go back to the about page and make sure that it works right. And it does. On all the other pages, it will take the other header. So that's how you create two headers in Elementor Pro. I love that they included this feature because if you were to do this without using Elementor, you definitely would have to know how to code PHP and it would be a lot harder to do. Elementor makes it so easy, and I love this feature because it really lets you customize your site a lot more. I hope that you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, give it a thumbs up and make sure that you're subscribed to the channel. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!